Okay, we're delighted uh, to have two of our latest signings uh, who joined the club uh, earlier in the week there, Yasin and Sean, uh, join us. First of all, guys, welcome to Ardrow Football Club. Thank you. Uh, delighted to have you on board. And um, a whirlwind start for you is uh, you know, signed your, your papers uh, effectively uh, right at the start of the week there and then straight into the thick of things. So, first of all, Yasin, for yourself, uh, a great debut um, from yourself, um, ending up in the SPFL Team of the Week. Not a bad old week for you so far. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's been good. I'm I'm delighted that we got the result. Um, we got the three points. Uh, also happy to be uh, uh, named in the SPFL Team of the Week. And yeah, I mean, I just want to push on from here and hopefully, and hopefully the team does well and we continue winning. Yeah, and Sean, what was the the process uh, getting the call uh, to come up to Arbroath, sign in, and then straight the side against? The league leaders, uh, you know, it seemed a daunting prospect at that point, but you guys made uh, it look easy. Yeah, it was very daunting, but and it came quick and fast. But um, I think that's how football is, so you just got to be ready mentally. And then um, obviously, it was a very, um, very good game as well. Obviously, Dundee being top, us beating them just showed that um, we've got a good bunch of players around us. So yeah. Yeah. And for both of you as well, uh, how did the moves come about? Obviously, Yasin, we know yourself, we, 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 we tried to. Uh, get your signature uh, in October uh, through um, your red tape uh, through UEFA. Um, it was blocked at the time. I think everyone was delighted that we managed to get the deal over the line uh, now. But uh, has it been a case since that happened there? You've kept in contact with, with, with the club. Uh, and then I know that you've mentioned off camera that you have had other offers, but uh, you just you knew that you wanted to, to, to sign for our growth. Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, it was obviously devastating at the time because I wanted to hit the ground running and, and kick on and help the team as soon as possible. But um, the gaffer and Ian, they've been terrific with me and they've stayed in contact and they've shown their interest to, to get me on board in, uh, in January. And uh, for me, in my heart, I felt that this is the right club for me and the, the right the right stage and the right time to be at a place like this. And yeah, I'm, I'm delighted now that it's over the line. Yeah, the, the the game uh, on Tuesday at, at, at Dens Park um, to win was important. To win the way we did was even better, and and obviously the the, the other results of teams in and around us went in our favour as well. So, all being said, with that, we now have to look at um, Saturday with the uh, the the game against Inverness coming up, um, and the only thing we have to look at now is try to get back to back victories. Of course, yeah, I mean. Uh, Monday was good. It's good to, to beat Dundee and, and beat top of the table. But uh, for now, for myself anyway, that's in the past. We move on now and we, we look to Saturday and continue the run and continue winning because that's what's important. And every every other game, you have to look forward to it and do what you have to do to get the three points. Yeah, and Sean, obviously coming from QPR and down south, how did you f find the, the, the pace of the Scottish game, particularly in the Championship? How did you find the game? Yeah, you know, it was very, it's quite fast. Um, it's quite physical as well, so I got adapted to that. Um, but I think it's good. Um, I think Scottish um, football doesn't get much credit, and um, from playing in it and watching it, it's like, very, very good. Yeah. Yeah, and on a lighter note, there that should now settle in to, to, to stay in our growth and the town itself. Uh, uh, both you guys hailing from. Uh, from the English capital, London. It's a busy. It's a, it's a bit. It's a bit different pace from uh, from from London. But how are you finding it? Yeah, I mean, um, for me personally, it's nice to be in a town like this, which is uh, quiet and you know, it's peaceful. The environment, the nature is beautiful, and it, it's nice to be away from the crowded area of London and just have a have a bit of a breather here and yeah. just knuckle down with your football. Yeah, sure. Yeah, because I think London's quite um, a busy, busy city. Everyone's to themselves, and um, obviously here, everyone's more friendly together, and um, yeah, and it's more like peace and quiet. That's what I like, really. So, I'm not down to get my head down, I'm just focused. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, the, the collectively, the, the team's aim now is to um, try and get results, uh, you know, together on a more regular basis and get up the table. Try and catch Cove and then go on. That's that's an obvious one. But for two of you uh, individuals as well, what what's the aim for the two of you guys coming up just to, to Scotland? Um, what what's you know personally? What 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 aims have you got looking forward? Is that is that a long term plan? Or is it just you know the, the more proverbial just each game that comes? Um, 
Yes, uh, obviously everyone has dreams and aspirations, and uh, it would be nice to 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 make to make it in, in to make a good career in football and reach the highest possible uh, platform in football and league. But right now, to be honest, I'm just focused on here, being here at our growth and giving my all for the team and the fans, and just take it as as it is every Saturday. Go and get the three points and be happy. Yeah, Sean. Yeah, I think yeah, obviously right now my focus is just my growth and obviously um, play well for the team, play for the managers and do well for myself and give myself a good credit um, for myself and yeah, just try and push our growth to the highest level we can get to. Yeah, and Saturday with the uh, the game against Inverness, obviously they, they came off of a, a fairly decent result themselves on Tuesday, uh, defeating Cove Rangers um, in the game there, uh, 6-1. That's a uh, a big, big result for them, but they'll not relish coming down to Gayfield. They've seen it in the past. They've come to Gayfield historically. They like to sit in, um, but having attacking-minded guys like you now, you're just looking to to really exploit that. Then, yeah, of course, definitely. I mean, we want to play our game and uh, and just be attacking and defensively tight as well, and just cause them problems. And I think if we do that, we'll we'll get success out of the game. Yeah, you've got training tonight. Obviously, you you know you've not had a lot of time with uh, your new teammates, but I think from what you've seen, you know the nucleus of the the guys here are the guys who who came within a a breath of uh, of of getting us into the Premiership last year, and yeah. you know you, you'll see that the, the standard is is very high amongst your teammates, yeah. and it'll help you settle in quite quickly. I think. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. Looking at it and being around the players here, there's not one player you think doesn't deserve to be playing in this league. They all got immense immense talent. And, um, they're very well driven. They know what they want to get, and they're a great bunch of lads. So I'm happy. Yeah. Well, guys, I just leave us to say uh, all the best for your career. Um, if you do, uh, you know, half as much as you did in your first game, then we'll we'll do all right this season. Welcome to our and, and all the best, guys. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you.